today on MTG Unpacked, we're interrupting the Ikoria Madness for some chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes here for the patrons. Okay, so let's introduce the patrons. We have Eric Palanco and you mad bra 99. All right, so we're gonna roll. Uh, let's see here, three, four, five, six, seven, one to seven. So 15 is not going to cut it, 12, okay, it's going to be one of those videos, 8, okay, number 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, that one goes to Eric, okay, so now we're down to 6, and I probably should have gotten a regular dice, okay, number 3, pop that over there, we'll set the rest aside. So these things are my vision for how a Chaos Mystery Box should be. Loaded full of goodies. Uh, let's pop that up there and that up there. Hopefully they don't fall down during filming. Okay, so let's get into it. Eric, thank you for being a patron. And the theme this month is Behemoths Part 2. So we had a whole heap of giant sized cards last month. Let's see what we get this month. We have Modern Horizons, Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan. Aha! Uh -huh. We'll take a look at that foil momentarily. Ravnica Allegiance, War of the Spark, and Theros Beyond Death. Okay, so we'll do something like this. Okay. And take a look at the foil, and you might notice there's no Ikoria here, because Ikoria was not released at the time these were put together. But next month, I'm sure there may be some in here. Okay, we get a foil, It That Betrays, Creature Eldrazi, 11, 11 for 12, that is insanity. Has Annihilator 2, whenever this creature attacks defending player, sacrifices two permanents. And whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent, put that card onto battlefield under your control. Your pleas for death shall go unheard. Okay. So there we are, a very tasty pull indeed for Eric. Let's get into it. Rivals of Ixlan and the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. And I really hope there aren't too many goblins here because my voice is giving out. I've done so many videos this weekend. But let's see how we do. We have a Sun Colored Raptor Negate, a Razka Raptor Recover, Plummet, Dusk Charger. Jade Bearer, Soul of the Rapids, Dark Inquiry, Luminous Bonds, and Uncommon Zatzakan, Seer, Pride of Conquerors, Utsworn Vampire, and the rare is Zatalpa Primal Dawn. Very much on theme this month, Legendary Creature, Elder Dinosaur, 4848. Flying, Double Straight, Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. The sky takes flight and the earth trembles. Alright, very cool, a forest... And a vampire token onto Ixalan. Hoping for another giant dino pool. And you may notice on this channel we look at the commons. I know it's horrifying, but we do like to look at the artwork and admire it. Okay, next we have Queen's Bay Soldier, Fire Shrine Keeper, Pterodon Knight, Ixali's Diviner, Depths of Desire, Diafleet Interloper, Encampment Keeper, Run Aground, Unknown Shores. Swashbuckling, Imperial Lancer for the Uncommon Snapping Sailback, Lightning Strike, and the rare is Primal Amulet. Okay, so it's a flip card. Artifact for four, Incident Sorcery Spells you cast, cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an Incident Sorcery Spell, put a Charge Counter on Primal Amulet. Then if there are four or more Charge Counters on it, you may remove those counters and transform it into... Primal Wellspring. So you can tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. When that mana is spent to cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Good deal and a checklist and treasure token. On to Theros Beyond Death. Okay. We are hunting for titans as always. We got Final Flare, Transcendent Envoy, Moss Viper, Scavenging Harpy, Omen of the Sea, Flicker of Fate, Infuriate, Thaumaturge's Familiar, Venomous Hierophant, and I'm skipping over Chain to Memory. I don't know why, something about the memory there. Uncommon's Elspeth's Nightmare, Cling to Dust, Rise to Glory, and the rare is Labyrinth of Scophos. It's land, tap it for colorless mana, pay for tap, remove target attacking or blocking creature from combat. Nay Forest, non-foil alas, 
and no table required in the arena. Are you cooking up something crazy in Ikoria? How is it working out? Smashing all the giant beasts against each other? Let me know in the comments. We have Savage Smash. Twilight Panther Persistent Petitioners are persistently over one dollar. So we're going to check it in. Footlight Fiend. Open the gates. Justicia's Portal. Get the point. Catacomb Croc, he'll bite your arm off. I'm pretty sure that's what he does. Unless I've mixed him up with another croc. Chillbringer. And uncommons, we have the Galloping Lizrog. Frog Lizard. Colt Guildmage. Jace as a puppet. Wilderness Reclamation. Another nice pull and rare is Precognitive Perception. Instant for five. Draw three cards. Has addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase instead, scry three, then draw three cards. And a foil Noxious Grudian and Simic Guildgate with a Centaur token. Okay, on to War of the Spark, looking for the Mythic Planeswalkers. And what is your favorite set in this video? Is it War of the Spark or is it this juicy goodness over here? Leave a note in the comments. We have Turret Ogre, Pouncing Lynx, Stealth Mission, Honor the God Pharaoh, Lazatek Behemoth, Zombie Hippo, that's the thing people. Ward Scale Croc, he'll bite your whole body off. I'm pretty sure that's what he does. Prismite, Spark Harvest, Thundering Ceratok, Uncommons, Leyline Prowler, Paradise Druid, Firemind Vessel, and ah, Ajani the Great Hearted. Nice to see you, sir. Legendary Planeswalker, Ajani, five loyalty for four. Creatures to control have vigilance, and I bet he is happy because of all the cats in Ikoria. He's plus one, you gain three life, minus two. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each. Creature you control and a loyalty counter on each other planeswalk you control. And a foil rare. A Johnny saying, give us the crazy pulls! And also ignite the beacon. Instant search your library for up to two planeswalker cards. Reel and put them into your hand and shuffle your library. And an island and wizard token. Okay, Ren and Stimpy. That is all I ask for. We have opened so many boxes of this in the past year. And I don't know, maybe we've pulled one Ren and Stimpy, I'm not sure. You know what I'm talking about, people. Okay, we have a Foil Spider token, we'll chuck that in. Yogmoth Thran Physician, finally got it, Snow Covered Swamp. And we're gonna slow roll it to build the suspense, okay. Hope you didn't see that, we've got a Foil, okay. Uncommons Dismantling Blow, Vengeful Devil, Baron Moor. And the Commons Nature's Chant, Shelter, Reign of Revelation, Gilded Light, Changeling Outcast, Spore Frog, Fairy Seer, Goblin Champion, Creature Goblin Warrior. Yes, we do love the Goblins. Trustworthy Scout, and that is it. Okay, and now let's take a look at the foil here. A foil snow-covered island. That's got to be worth a few bucks. Nice one. And the rare. Oh, it's a mythic sword of truth and justice. Artifact equipment for three. Equip creature gets plus two, plus two. And has protection from white and from blue. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control. Then proliferate. And you can equip it for two. Very cool pull there in the end. All right, so enjoy those, Eric. And stay tuned, later in the month we'll have the Patron Snap Pack video. So it's a fun live stream, we put together Snap Packs for the Patrons. Alright, and if you don't know what a Snap Pack is, I'll pop a link up in the corner to the complete playlist. You can check that out, and that card just does not want to stay there. So I'm going to leave it alone. Alright. You mad bra 99 You are up next, sir. I'm hoping we get you some crazy goodness. Okay, Modern Horizons as per usual. Whoa, ho, ho, a spicy tamale. Guilds of Ravnica, a nice foil. We'll take a look at that momentarily. Ravnica Allegiance Core 2020 and Throne of Eldraine. So, you know I have to leave the Mystery Booster for last. Let's do something like this. All right, good luck, sir. Take a look at our juicy foil here. We got a Draco Artifact Creature Dragon 99 for 16. What? Draco costs two less to play for each basic land type among lands you control. Has flying. Beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Draco unless you pay 10. Its cost is reduced by two for each basic land type among lands you control. 
look at that foiling so you'll notice it's just around the edges this is an older foil very cool all right pop that in there for you let's get into it throne of el drano and who are we looking for is it oko or is it something else leave a note in the comments we have moonlit scavengers merchant of the veil wolf's quarry tall as a beanstalk mantras paladin Idyllic Grange, Lockthwain Gargoyle, Reeve Soul, Fling, An Uncommon's Covetous Urge, Keeper of Fables, Righteousness, and Rare. <laughs> Feasting Troll King, Creature Troll Noble, we have been trolled, 7646, with Vigilance and Trample when he enters bird food. If you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. If you sack three foods, return Feasting Troll King from your graveyard to the battlefield at the ability only during your turn. And a foil resolute rider. Some very cool foiling on that one. And a forest and night token. Okay, core 2020. And pretty soon, it's only what, less than two months away? We have core 2021. So I'm wondering what's going to be in that one. Should be interesting. Next, we have Anticipate Infuriate. Moorland Inquisitor, Fairy Miscreant. Epicure of Blood, Feral Invocation, Chandra's Outrage, Glaring Age of Sun, Summon, Sorcerer of the Fang, Disfigure for the Uncommons, Master Splicer, Scampering Scorcher, and a Mythic, yes, Cavalier of Flame, Creature Elemental Knight, 6-5 five for 5, so pay 1 and red creatures you control, get plus 1 plus 0 and gain, hasten to end of turn, and when it ends the battlefield, discard any number of cards and draw that many cards, and when it dies, it deals X damage to each opponent, and each planeswalker they control where X is the number of land cards in your graveyard. And they blood fill caves and soldier tokens. So nice to see a mythic pool there. Guilds, we need the shock lands. Please. I know we've gotten a lot of those, but greed is good, right, people? We have the Dalkin, Mesmerist, Fearless, Halberdier, Righteous Blow, Child of Night, Urban Utopia. Pause for reflection, Nushin Rain, Watcher in the Mist, Selesnia Locket, and Uncommon Zabratum Elemental, Circuitous Route, Conclave Guild Mage, and the rare is Tajik Legion's Edge, a legendary creature, human soldier, 323, three, with haste and mentor. Prevent all non combat damage that will be dealt to other creatures you control. Pay a red and white. It gains first strike until end of turn. And a burglar rat foil. Fantastic. Good to see the rats now and then. And it is at Gilgate and Soldier. Okay, halfway here, through here for Umadbra 99. We got Allegiance up next. Hydroid Crisis. I think we've already pulled that from this box. So probably not going to get another one, but we could get a shock. We have Knight of Sorrows, Slimebind. Spike Will Acrobat, Rakdos Roustabout, Sylvan Brush Strider, Carrion Imp, Steeple Creeper, Watchful Giant, Burning Tree Vandal, Uncommons Giant Engineer, Oars of Racketeers, Sky Tether, and a Mythic Emergency Powers, Instant for 7. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into the library, then draws 7 cards, Exile Emergency Powers. As a Dandem, if you cast this spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card with Command Mana Cost 7 or less from your hand. Onto the battlefield. I don't think that's the craziest mythic, but still we'll take it. And a foil territorial boar. Okay. Had to make the pig noise there, of course. Modern Horizons. Don't let us down. Ren and Stimpy this time, please. Or a goblin. Yes. Non-foil. Alright. Goblin. We got Arkham's Astrolabe. Snow-covered mountain. And another mythic, Seasoned Pyromancer, Creature, Human, Shaman, 2, 2, 3. So when it ends the battlefield, discard two cards and draw two cards for each non-land card discard this way. Create a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature token. For 3 and 2 red, exile it from your graveyard. Create two 1-1 one, one red elemental creature tokens. So we're getting quite a few mythics today. Can't complain about that. Uncommons, Carrion Feeder, Everdream, Undead Augur, and the Commons, Venomous Changeling, a regular cohort. Geomancer's Gambit, Spring Bloom Druid, Arkham's Astrolabe, I think that, oh, that's under a buck now, but I'll check it in anyway. Gluttonous Slug, the Ruiner of live streams, Frost Waller, Chiller Pillar, Lava Dart, and Soul Strike Technique. Okay, so 
Last pack magic. We are looking for the Mana Crypt. I have opened nearly five boxes of this. And there may be one or two other packs of this in the other Chaos boxes. We shall see. But let's see how we go. I don't memorize 1800 plus prices for this. So if I miss anything, I'll catch it in editing. Rest of Swift Claw, Guided Strike, Fog Walker, Seagate Oracle, Fretwork Colony. That's pretty cool. Tendrils of Corruption, Valakut Predator, Fling, Borderland Explorer, Far Seek, and Uncommon's Eris's Champion, Heavy Arbalest, and the rare Eater of Days. Artifact creature Leviathan 9 8 for 4 with flying and trample. When Eater of Days comes into play, you skip your next two turns. I don't think I've ever seen this card. That is pretty cool. And a mythic, nice, a hammeret's archive. Legendary artifact for five. If you gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. And if you would draw a card, except the first one you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. All right. And a foil lightning storm, instant for three. Deals X damage to target creature or player where X is three plus number of charge counters on it. Just discard a land card, put two charge counters on it. You may choose a new target for it. Any player may put play this ability, but only if Lightning Storm is on the stack. I like the foiling on that one. And that is it. So we have done fantastically well for the Patrons Day. All these mythics, um, some of them higher value than others. So let's pop these in here for you, Mad Brown 99 And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And stay tuned, we've still got a whole bunch of Ikoria stuff to come. Hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.